Scrimba.com has one of the coolest features I've ever seen on a Learn to Code platform. Seriously, it's f awesome. But is this platform worth your time and money? I'm showing you the courses, curriculum, community, price, and one hella cool coding editor on Scrimba.com coming up. Hey, Archie C here. Listen, don't forget to get on our official mailing list. We have the free stuff, like free stuff. We have a free ebook for you. We have so many coding tips, real world insights, and so much more. Link popping up. It's also in the description box of this video. Scramba, scramba, scramba. How in the ever loving heck has the world not caught on to this way of doing video tutorials? I have known about it for a few years now, and every time I come revisit it, I'm like, Dude. Here's how it works. These are video tutorials, right? The instructor shows you how to code a variable, how to do a little JavaScript, Python, bada boom, whatever. Anytime during the video, you can pause it. And when you hit the pause button, you can enter into the video and you can start editing the code. You can run the code. And when you're done messing around in the editor, you just hit the play button again and the code is reset to the point where you paused and the lecture continues. It's brilliant. Also, somebody please tell me why every video-based learn to code platform isn't doing this or trying to do this. As a bonus, every time you pause the video and go into the editor, a note is automatically created. And if you save it, a little bookmark shows up in the progress bar. And now anytime you're in the video, you can click this little yellow dot and see what you've coded. So this code editor is non-destructive if you want it to be. If you don't need that note anymore or you accidentally created one or whatever, you can just toss it and in the trash it goes. Okay, so that's the big draw to this platform, right? But what courses are offered? What's the curriculum like? Is there a community? How much is it? Let's get into that. Scrimba is primarily a platform for front end web development. The bulk of their courses focus on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. And a lot of these courses are free. And there are a lot of names here you might recognize from YouTube land. Kevin Powell, King of CSS, he's doing build a space travel website. Gary Simon doing learn UI design fundamentals. Dylan Israel doing introduction to unit testing. Some of these courses are quick ins and outs like this one, deploying with Netlify. This one's 23 minutes, eight lessons. Hi, welcome to Walmart, get your stuff and get out. But if you want to go deeper, we also have some of those two on the free tier. Learn React for free, nearly 12 hours. Advanced React, just about 12 and a half hours. Those were the courses on the free tier and there are also pro level courses. Looking over these, I'm not really sure what the determining factors are for making a course pro level. Like a lot of these instructors are doing free tier stuff too, and the run times aren't much different than what we saw in the free tier. But some of these pro courses are from Figma to Code, Gary Simon, Front End Interview Tips, Dylan Israel, Learn Responsive Web Design, Kevin Powell. There is also an option here on the pro tier called the Front End Developer Career Path. This program has 13 modules starting you off with the basics we've all come to expect. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, nothing outrageous here. But then starting around the halfway point, you're getting into the really fun and gooey stuff like modern JavaScript patterns, code reviews, APIs, React, and then wrapping it up with some coding interview wisdom. Let's talk about pricing. There are three tiers on Scrimba. First, we have the free tier that gets you access to quite a few courses and access to the community. Next is the pro member tier that gets you access to all their courses, plus that front end developer career path. That one's $30 on a month to month basis. $18 per month on a six month basis and $180 for the yearly membership. And finally, we have the bootcamp level. This gives you more of an academic setting with a study group, code reviews, teacher led sessions. That's $450 per quarter. Community. Scrimba has a Discord community, and this is where you're going to be going to connect for just about any community aspect. If you need advice, code help, this is also where they do the code reviews, it looks like. It wasn't crazy busy when I joined, but it was definitely active, and this guy welcomed me right away. It was nice not getting lost in the shuffle, which seems to happen sometimes in many of these bigger tech discords. I'm going to be honest here. I think the front end developer career path is a really good start in preparing code newbies for a dev career, but I think you're going to need a little extra. The reason I say that is primarily because of the projects. Most of the projects I'm seeing here are either basic, so they're more like coding challenges, and or they're clones of popular applications. An Airbnb clone, a meme generator clone. Clones can be super cool, but as I've said many times before, 
Your main job as a developer is to be a problem solver. You will be getting paid to solve a company's problems. This Netflix problem, this Airbnb problem, these have already been solved years ago and they've been cloned by literally hundreds of thousands of other developers. It's just not real world. Employers have seen these projects so many times before and they're a dead giveaway that you're brand new to the industry. We wanna try and minimize the obviousness of that. So you will need to up your game with most of these projects if you want to put them into a portfolio and have an employer really take notice. I get into this really in depth in my newsletter. I actually share a few ways to totally customize these types of projects. So they are pretty much un recognizable from the original. I also have my own course and book on ways to customize these projects called Portfolio Surgery. It's that big of a freaking problem that I had to do a newsletter, a book, and a video course, okay? It's, it's a big problem. This issue is not exclusive to Scrimba. This is a big issue everywhere. Let's get back into the review. As much as my mind is blown with the main premise of this platform, these video tutorials that are interactive, there are a few things that caught me off guard. I am absolutely gaga over this format, but the UX UI wasn't really intuitive for me in some places. As far as navigating through the various screencasts and going to the next lesson, took me a while to find out how to do that. And even when I did find it, I could never remember how to do it. So I was just like blindly keyboard mashing and like making weird grunts at the coffee shop, trying to figure out how to get to the next video. <laughs> It was very unflattering. It would be cool just to see a regular old fast forward button or next video button down here, or really just anything making it easier to navigate the curriculum. The other thing that kind of caught me off guard was the potluck assortment of instructors and courses. Some of the instructors are very organized. They're well articulated, good mics, good production values, and others I thought did need some improvement. Same goes with the topics. I just thought it was kind of inconsistent in places. Some of these topics I thought were very well put together especially for a free tier level course. Others seem kind of rushed and disjointed. Also, even though a few of these said for beginners, I felt like the entry point was more for an advanced developer, but focusing on one of the courses I really liked, Learn Python for Free. I thought Learn Python for Free was a real banger. The parts I did go through, the instructor isn't rushing through the material and he dropped some programming gems into the lectures. He's like, and I'm paraphrasing here, we're gonna try and solve this problem now, but keep in mind, just because I showed you one solution doesn't mean it's the only solution. That's the beauty of programming. There are often multiple solutions to one problem. Now, this is really nothing mind blowing, but he does take the time to illustrate the bigger picture in places instead of just showing you how to declare a variable. This instructor tends to minimize the code monkey stuff and focus more on actual programming and problem solving, which I really appreciated. Final verdict, all in all developers, stop it. I love the format, stop it. It's so freaking engaging. It's fun. It encourages experimentation without having to worry about crashing a server or whatever. It's a very low risk experimental environment, which I think is so important for newbies. You don't have to set up any developer environment at all. It's all right here on your screen. So it's really accessible too. I honestly recommend every aspiring developer check this platform out. It's that cool. And there are a lot of free courses if you don't want to splurge on the premium stuff. But what do you developers think of this platform? Am I just too obsessed with this interactive video feature and blowing it out of proportion? or is it as epic as I think it is?